are kept from living with his son for three years, not because of allegations of abuse or neglect, but because of a broken system that separates children from their families. WBTV's chief investigative reporter Nick Oxner has the latest in our ongoing investigation with our partners at the digital first news magazine, The Assembly. Everybody. This is Garnell Hill and his son, who we'll call Chris, last Christmas. I promised to take care of this kid. At the time, Chris was eight. Garnell had been in his life about two years, as soon as he found out the boy was his son. After several years, Hill is still fighting for custody, and this week might lose his son forever. I'm getting treated like a criminal. I feel like every time I go to court, it's like they, like, I'm in court for like not for a custody case, it's like I'm in, on trial for doing something wrong. Hill was living near Washington, D.C. when he learned Chris was his son. He moved back to North Carolina and jumped into being a dad. Be careful, my boy. I know. Something he takes pride in. He's already raised three kids to adulthood. He used to come and stay with me on the weekends here. We play on my guitar, we, we sing together all the time, we dance, we watch our Disney movies. When Hill first moved back to North Carolina, he lived with his mom, then a boarding house. Social workers said neither were acceptable for Chris, so now Hill rents this house. This is his domain. With a room full of toys and video games for his son. I owe this kid so much and I have to be the man for him. When we actually got to have him meet Garnell, it was immediate and he wanted to, to be with Garnell forever. Ryan O'Donnell helped raise Hill's son. He was Chris's foster dad when the father and son met for the first time. It's like Hallmark movies are made out of, right? Like. Here's a kid who, who up until this point did not have a father, but the moment that he met Garnell, uh, I knew that I was not the most important male role model, you know, figure in, in his life. His house is just so empty without him, you know. Yeah. <laughs> O'Donnell doesn't foster Chris anymore. Yeah, he's, he's got a huge personality. <laughs> but he's devoted the last few years to helping advocate for Hill to get custody of Chris and working to bring greater transparency to the system that separates kids yeah. from their parents. Under the law, the first goal of Child Protective Services is supposed to be keeping families together when possible. But North Carolina spends just $34 million a year on services that would prevent children from being taken from their families in the first place, and more than 13 times that amount on foster care and adoption services, roughly $450 million each year. Yeah, showing the muscles. You've got a dad who's been fighting for his kid for years. They just keep throwing obstacle after obstacle in front of them. And it's just a shame that, you know, we've got a system that can't recognize a good thing when it has it. Today, social workers point to Hill's previous marijuana use as the main reason Hill shouldn't get custody. Though there's no report Hill ever used drugs around his son, and he completed a voluntary treatment program and parenting classes. Every day he doesn't have permanency is doing damage because some of the most important relationships in his life he doesn't have. He questions him. He doesn't have confidence that he's got that stability. He's been stuck in care for almost six years. So you gotta wonder, like, have we actually done right by keeping him in foster care an extra three years? He's wearing my shades, he think he was cool. Hill will go back to court this week, where a judge is expected to rule whether Chris will be put up for adoption or if the plan will change back towards Hill getting full custody. And that's all I want, dude, that's, that's everything. I'm very hopeful. I'm very hopeful. And, I mean, this is a tough question, but are you prepared for the fact that that might not ever happen? No. I, 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 I can't think like that. I can't think like that. I don't, I don't know what I would do. Reporting in Burlington, Nick Oxner, WBTV, on your side. Cool. We, of course, will keep you updated on what happens this week in court.